Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex, this is the Ramble, we are going until midnight tonight, coming to you from the east coast of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, there's Stephen Kravitz, we love talking to him every week because he's got, uh, he's just ver- well versed on everything. <laughs> And an expert on nothing. And an expert on nothing. Are you missing a front tooth? I fell and knocked out a tooth. When? Saturday night. No. Yeah. Is that a fake tooth to begin with, or? Uh, I think it was. Oh, you mean it was a it was a uh, 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 just a fake tooth? Right. Huh. Wow. Are you going to the dentist on that? Well, I don't know if I can afford a tooth. You don't know if you can afford a tooth. Hmm. wonder what, what you can do about that. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, as an actor, you probably should have that tooth taken care of. You're probably right. Unless they, they say, are we looking for somebody with a t- for a toothless part? <laughs> well, then they'd want all the teeth gone. Well, well what happened when, when, it, when you fell... Did it did it break or did it just fall off or what do you have that you can show as the tooth? I have a little piece, but the thing is, um, I don't remember falling. What? Right. Oh God, you're in worse shape than I am. Thanks, thanks. That well, makes me well, feel when you can't better. remember falling for crying out loud. I guess I passed out. Wow. Or if you were in Canada, past oot. Oot. Yeah. Uh, About. I'm trying to think what you can do about that and not have to pay for it. Uh, and there's very precious little that you can do, I think. Right. Do you have some money saved up? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it all depends. It, did you have a fake tooth there before? I mean, do you remember? No. You didn't have a fake tooth there. I don't know. Because it's completely knock out a tooth like that. I mean, it looks like a very clean break. Right. It looks to me like you had some something fake in there. Right, right. Me too. But it wasn't an implant. No, because it, it, it didn't bleed. It didn't hurt. It was just gone. Okay, so what is under there? What do you see under there? I feel, I think there's a root. You think there's a root? Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, Because you never never had any implants, right? No. No. Well, you might have actually broken the tooth off. I think that's what I did. In which case, if you still have the root, they can probably go in there and do something. You know, right. I mean, you do some kind of restoration. But uh, if you've got uh, some money, say goodbye to it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, for, for your, as an actor, you probably want to get that taken care of. That, yes. that's, that's, that's the most, one of the most important things you can take care of. So, right, so, right. You know. I can't walk around without a tooth. No. No, if it were in the back, no problem. Right. You know, but in the front, you, you got to do it. You know, you, right. you, you, you have to take care of it. Right. Uh, it would even fuck you over just getting regular jobs. You yeah, know? no kidding, right? Well, you see, I've often argued that, you know, the government has, you know, Medicare for health, but they don't have it for teeth. Right. And I'm going... Well, wait a minute. To begin with, if your teeth are bad, they can cause health problems. Right. right. That's for starters. But also, if they want you to find work, if you're missing your two front teeth, let's just say, 
Right. This one's on the side, but two front teeth. Um, and now you're going to go look for work. Who's going to hire you? A gas station. A gas, maybe. Maybe. You know, you're right. You know, they, they, they may not even want to hire you because they say, well, you're dealing with customers every day. Right. You know, uh, and they'll use some other excuse. Oh, we're all f filled up with people. But, I mean, having a dentistry, having front teeth especially fixed, I think is very important. Oh, yeah. You know. but we That's don't, my project. Yeah, we don't do that. But I'm amazed. You just fell and you didn't know you fell. Right. So did you? You didn't know you fell. What did you do? Find yourself on the ground? Right. Wow. Exactly. Wow. And and you haven't been. You know, you haven't been doing drugs. Or you don't drink. No. Uh, so this is something that's just happened. And I, sometimes you can just pass out. People do right. that. You know. Right. Uh, but gee, I'm I'm amazed what happened with you. That's, yeah, that's me incredible. Too. That's incredible. Not uh, happy about it. No, you should see a doctor about that. Okay. Yeah. What, what, don't give me okay. That's what I got from. That's what I got from. Uh, who was it? Uh, the, oh, uh, Pearl. When I was telling him that he should get him uh, get his uh, his vaccination, he went okay. <laughs> you know. And I said, no, I don't want okay. I want okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to go do it. Yes. Well, you passed out. Yes. You know, and you drive, right? Yeah. Now, do you want to pass out while you're driving? Probably not. No. And if you pass out while you're driving, they'll probably take away your driver's license. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah. So you should have this looked into. I mean, they might just tell you, hey, you know, uh, you probably had a, 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 you just passed out. But, you know, you passed out in a rather terrible way because right. you, you knocked out a tooth. Right. But that must be a tooth that either was weak or something was temporary in there or something. Something, because it broke off too easily. You can't remember any dentistry in that part of your mouth. Not offhand, no. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, the only time I ever had a tooth fall out is I had a really loose tooth. And for years it was loose and it got looser and looser and looser. And one day I was eating something and I looked in and, and I, this tooth was there. And I, <laughs> and I thought it was a crown that had fallen off. So I went to the I, dentist and I said, here's the crown. You should probably glue it back in. And she says, no, that's not a crown. That's your tooth. It's self-extracted. What, what did they do? Well, they didn't have to extract it. <laughs> there, nah. I, there I saved some money by having it self-extract, but I had to have a, a what do you call it, an implant put in. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Did that hurt? Implants? Nah. Yeah. Nah. You know, it's just, you know, it's just annoying. You have to sit there while they do it. You know, but they shoot don't you. They, they don't shoot they you. drill into the bone? Yes, but you don't feel that because they put they juiced you up with uh, Novocaine, and they just they drill into the bone, and then they put a little little post in there, a little screw in there. They screw, right. they screw it in, literally screw it in. Really? So if, you, if you look at it, it looks like a, a screw you got from the from the hardware store. And, uh, and that's probably where they got it, and they're just telling us it costs as much as it does. But anyway, they put it in the bone, then they, the bone stays there. They keep, they keep it in there for about three months. Well, right. first, 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 your tooth has to be extracted. Then they have to wait three months before they put in the implant. Then right. they put in the implant, they wait another three months, and it's kind of grown around it. And then they put in a, uh, a you know a crown that goes into 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 the implant. So. Really? Yeah, it's it's pretty simple actually. On a on a basis of does it hurt or not hurt? No, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah, but it costs what a couple thousand dollars. Well, uh, normally about five thousand, four to five thousand dollars. 
Uh, if you have insurance, insurance usually will only pay so much, and if they go along with your insurance, it'll be like 3500 of which you maybe will pay 1500 you know. But, Yikes! Uh, yeah, I just had another one done a while back here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So far, they haven't charged me for it. They, the, the, I had two, two, two pieces of insurance, two different insurance. It turns out, for, right? For, and so I think both covered the whole thing. So, lucky you. I think I haven't heard from them yet. They haven't. This has been five months, and they haven't sent me a bill. And I went to see them the other day for a cleaning, and I said, "Do I owe you anything?" And they said, "No." So. I assume Count your I'm, blessings. I assume I'm okay, you know. Count your blessings. But uh, uh, let me put it this way: Do you have at least four thousand dollars? I mean, not that you want to spend four thousand, but do you have four thousand available to you? I have three. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh boy. Well, you know something? There are places you can go if you can't afford the dentistry, I'm sure. I'm sure. And I'm sure there are, are you should check those out because you should take care of that. Right. You know, and uh, that was an accident. Uh, yeah. You know, and you would, but it would be nice if health insurance, you know, everybody talks about, oh, shall we have health insurance? Shall we not have health insurance? This whole deal with health insurance. Right. I never think about dental insurance. Right. You know, and and every American should have dental insurance as well. I mean, it's it's terrible. It's just terrible. So. It's like England. Yeah. Well, England, I think, I wonder if they take care of dental. Probably not, because have you seen their teeth? There you go. Yeah, their teeth are terrible. But I can't, you know, I can't believe that you, you know, that you that you passed out, knocked out a tooth, and it was that easy. You know, what did well, you? Well, what can I tell you? I'm special. Where were you when you fell? In the living room. In the living room, and did you fall on something? Well, your face. It's not obviously, that. obviously, your face. Right. I think maybe I just got up too quick. Really? Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Got up too quick, took a step, and fell over. Yeah. But, and, and you know, I mean, there was no way you could protect against that. Right. No. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a b bizarre one. Okay. <laughs> because I noticed that you had no tooth there, and I thought, eh, maybe I haven't seen that before. Right. And then you say, well, last, last Saturday I lost it as I passed it's, out. It's brand new. Yeah, yeah. In all those years that you were uh, drinking and doing drugs and things like that, did you ever pass out? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Because I've never passed out. Really? Yeah, I felt close to it, but I've never passed out. Right. You know. Um, uh, my friend Shecky uh, passed out when he was it kind of passed out felt like he was going to pass out he had this, this period where he was passing out and they couldn't figure out why and then he was driving down to Pennsylvania and with some friends and he had to pull over to the side of the road because he said I think I'm passing out and he kind of had to stop and I think he either passed out or he didn't pass out but his friends and said, you got to go to the hospital. We got to check this out. So they take him to the hospital. Right. right. And they check him out and they say, well, you just, I guess you just passed out. The only thing is the hospital then turned around and turned him into the DMV. And so oh, he, he, so he lost his license. Now he didn't pass out while driving. He felt as though he was going to pass out and pulled over to the side of the road. Right. Right. Uh, they, and they still pulled his license. They pulled his license, and it took him forever to get it back. I bet. I mean, he had to go through all kinds of living hell to get them to say, okay, you can drive again. Oh, he had to get his doctor to say, okay, he's capable of driving. So he went to his doctor, and his doctor sent a thing to the DMV, and they said, we're not giving you your license back. And he said, why? He said, 
Your doctor was too quick to send us a note. You, you know, and, and he went, what do you mean? And they said, well, it's not, it seems phony to us that he would just suddenly say, you're okay. So he had to wait, and he had to wait like six months, and then the doctor had to send it in again, and then they had to approve it. And He didn't have his license for over a year. I bet. You know what he did during that time for a car? What's that? He drove. <laughs> you know. He said, well, what's going to happen? You know, if I drive carefully, I'm not going to get stopped for a ticket. And if I don't get stopped for a ticket, they're not going to know. That's right. You know, and he went to his doctor in the meantime and checked him out and said, this passing out must be from something, but it's nothing that we can. Major. Yes, nothing major and nothing we can nail. So, I mean, uh, he didn't have to immediately go, you know, whatever. So. How's things going up there for you besides passing out and losing a tooth? It was freezing this weekend. Was it cold there? It was cold down here, yeah. But I don't mind the cold. Really? I, I mind the heat. I mind the humidity. Well, and, it's coming. And that's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's probably going to come in spades this year, too. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't, like, uh, I don't like humidity. I hate humidity. And I, every day I go and take my walk, but if it gets too hot, I'm not walking. Well, I yeah. walk early in the morning. Who gets up early in the morning? Well, what time do you get up? I do the show every night at, at 10.30. I'm not through till midnight. And then I fart around till about 2, and then I go to sleep and get up about 10. That's about right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, get up early, it's going to be humid by then. By 10 o'clock? Oh, yeah. It can get pretty hot here by 10. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So my feeling is that when it's really hot, it's like when it's snowing outside. Okay? Stay in. Yeah. I mean, what's the reason to go out? You know? Well, yeah. have errands to run. Well, yeah. Uh, and I'll run my errands. But outside of that, who wants to go outside when it's really hot? Right, 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 you right. Know, and I like to take about I take a, about a mile and a half walk every day. Between really? a mile and a third, a mile and a half. Some days it's two two Good for you. Yeah. And it you know, it, it uh uh and it's not as easy as it used to be. But I no. still I still can do it. And uh but when it gets really hot I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I wanna, you know. Maybe I'll just take all my clothes off and walk naked. There you go. Yeah. That, 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 that won't draw any attention. Then, then I'll, I'll, I'll get arrested. They'll put me in a jail cell, which, which they call the cooler. <laughs> and I won't have to pay for air conditioning. You've got it all worked out. It's a master plan. Our electric bill in this apartment is enormous. You know, it's a lot. Really? It's well, it's it is twenty five hundred square feet after all, right? And you know, I have all this equipment in the studio, and, right. and uh, my wife leaves every TV set on in the place constantly, and uh, so our our monthly bill comes to somewhere around I don't know, uh, uh, two hundred and fifty three hundred dollars a month, and then during the summer with the air conditioning, it goes up to five hundred. Really? Yeah. Well, you're not paying rent, so stop complaining. Yeah, but once I start paying rent again, I ain't going to be so cheap. Right. You know, once I have to start paying rent, we may have to move, you know. So. What do you think your rent's going to be? Uh, well, the, the judge, when we were talking about it, suggested 2200 a month, which for this place is a steal. Right. Okay. But then again, it may not be a steal any longer because rentals are kind of plentiful in Manhattan because people are moving out of Manhattan. Really? Why is that? Uh, they got used to working from home, and now they're telling their bosses, I want to work from home. As long as I can work from home, I can work anywhere but New York City, which is super expensive to live in. Right. Right. So, you know, the amount of apartments that are available, I think, have gone up a, a great deal. 
uh, and the kind of prices they could get for them. I mean, a, the highest price department in this building is something like seventy five hundred dollars. That's absurd. That's what this apartment would definitely go for if we moved well out. market value. Yes. Well, if we moved out tomorrow, that well, right. I don't know if that's well. I guess that's kind of market value, but. The th it's a very strange thing. We got all these laws and everything to prevent them from raising the rent. So how they got it up to seventy five hundred on some of these apartments, I have no idea. Because when people moved out, they re rented it at market value. No, they <laughs> can't. They, they can't do that because this these are uh, what's a rent stable. Rent control. These are rent stabilized. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. Rent stabilized, so uh, they can only charge so much. But if they go in, tear everything out, redo the apartment, they right. can then raise the price on it. Right. See, so that's what they do when somebody moves out. They literally ruin these apartments because these are gorgeous apartments. But they right. lower the ceilings and they put in all kinds of stuff that isn't original to the apartment right and, then, right. and people right. go oh whoop i'll move in it's got two fireplaces you know? right i mean and they don't even work by the way uh so i mean it's just it's ridiculous you know and and they raise the rent uh, on one of the apartments here is it uh what is it uh 7500 i think almost eight thousand. and this apartment is probably one of the best apartments in the building because of the view that we have. We're on the eighth floor, top floor, and we look out over the skyline of New York. And none of, yeah. the, none of the other apartments, except the ones on this side of the right. building, have that view. Right. And then, right. And then you add to it the size, and this is, this is an $8,500 a month apartment. You know? Oh, easily. But easily. They're not going to be able to get that for it off of us, but twenty two hundred is the the judge considered reasonable, you know, which I guess we, I could go, you know. I'll run out of money in about another twenty years, and I'm not going to be. Oh, alive. really? I'm not going to be alive by then. You don't know. Well, I don't know. I'd be surprised if I'm alive by next year. I'm just taking it day by day. Yeah. You know. That makes two of us. Everybody around me dies, you know. Yeah. We'll be going. We'll be going in the future. We'll be going to a lot more funerals. Uh, oh well, my mother used to say to me that when you're a kid, your number one social uh, uh, function are birthday parties, right? And when you get old, they're funerals. You know. Sad to say, but it's true. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, what do you wear besides black? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm talk, not talking to you. No. I'm talking to people you meet at a funeral. Oh, you know, right, 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 right. You know, so, I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous, you know, that you, you know you're getting older when you're going to more funerals than you are birthday parties. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, when you, in, I guess in middle life, you're going to kids uh, being born and perhaps baptisms and things like that, you know, that people have for their kids. And you want to go to go to them out of respect, even though you're Jewish and don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I've never been to one. Have you? Huh? Uh, I've never been to a baptism. I've never been to a baptism. No. No. No, I don't want to see a baby crying as they're dumping them in water. Right, 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 yeah. right. I never could understand that one. What does that have to do with religion? In fact, what do bunnies have to do with Easter? Isn't and why the, do they lay chocolate eggs? Isn't that the day the Lord died? No, that's the day he came back. He came back and laid chocolate eggs. Right. That's it. I good, didn't get that. Good Friday. Wait a minute. Good Friday is the day he died. Why do they call it Good Friday? Why don't they call it really shitty Friday? <laughs> yeah. or, oh, fuck, he's dead Friday. You're absolutely right. Right? It, right? It, it makes no sense at all. Good Friday. Oh, yeah, it was a wonderful Friday for Christ. How do you like hanging out like this? That's good. Right, 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 right. Are you going to put nails in my hands? 
Good Friday bullshit. Bad yeah, Friday. So bad Friday. Really shitty Friday. <laughs> anyway. Hey, look, I just looked, you know, we, we start talking and we go 25 minutes without even breathing heavy. Right. Anyway, I'll uh, do this again next week. Wednesday. Well, Wednesday. Okay, well, I'll check with you right after we're through here. But why don't you say goodbye to everybody and I'll say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Steve. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. And let us know what we can do to help you get that tooth fixed. Yeah. Bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, thank you very much, Stephen uh, Kravitz. We really, as I always say, really like Stephen a lot. He's a smart guy, and I like smart, okay? Smart is, is always good. Uh, I got I to gotta just talk to you for a second. Um Last night, there was some guy on our chat room who wrote some very nasty things about me, uh, in which he said, I'm out of here, this is boring, I don't want to hear about uh, Alex's problems with Roku, or uh, blah, 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 he's just, he sucks these days, he's not what he used to be. And you know something, that really made me feel bad. Uh, and I don't normally let that kind of stuff get to me, but it made me feel bad. Uh, it made me feel horrible, actually. So horrible that today I was thinking about it, and I was saying to myself, you know, I've often said, if the day ever came where I felt that I had maybe stayed too long at the party, that it was time to cash it in. And I don't know that maybe this isn't the time that maybe I'm just not as good as I used to be. Uh, well, I don't even expect that I'm as good as I used to be, but maybe I'm greatly diminished from what I once was. And that maybe it's time to cash it all in, uh, that it's time to stop it. And you say, well, one guy writes you, you shouldn't feel bad about that. And I go, uh, well, yeah, but. You know, it still, it hurt, you know, and the thing is, let me, let me explain something. We don't have much of an audience for this. We have less now than we had years ago because years ago there was less on the internet. And so there was, you know, more people paid attention to you. Now you're competing with girls with their makeup tips and all that crap. Uh, but I do this not because of the size of the audience and not because I made money. You know how much money I made last year off those lousy commercials they run before the show? I made $200. That doesn't even begin to pay for what I paid for the various elements that puts the, put this show out there. So, um, you know, and, and people would say to me, well, don't let some guy or guys... Uh, make you feel bad. Don't let them feel they're intimidating you. And it's not that. It's that I w will keep doing this and feel that I would keep doing this as long as I enjoyed it. And I just don't think I enjoy it anymore because I don't need that kind of crap from some low-life individuals who lurk on my, uh, on my in my chat room. Uh, I don't need the constant criticism. I don't need the putting down of people who are on this show, who are only giving of their time so they can maybe make this show better than it normally would be. So, I, you know, it's come to the point where I'm beginning to think that maybe it's time to pack it in, all right, and to call it quits. Uh, and the reason is is that after last night, I decided this is no longer fun. Uh, it, it is hurtful, and it is at times drudgery. And uh, that, uh, uh, you know, as long as I can be enjoying it and having fun and continuing to do a, just a, some modicum of a show, fine. But, you know, it's people like this person last night who, who can't call now because, who can't chat now because I have... Uh, uh, well, I've ixnayed him from being able to come online and, and chat. Uh, and I've also taken out certain words that were hurtful to other people, like they were calling um, um, uh, 
Alan, uh, Mr. Bobblehead. Well, try typing in the word bobblehead right now. I don't think it will go through, okay? And I will keep, and I've taken every permutation of Alan that I possibly could, and I put that in there too, so they can't write about that. Just, you know, if you're going to go be mean, go be mean somewhere else. I don't have time for it here. And quite frankly, uh, if it continues, uh, it will immediately make me decide what I've been thinking of all along, and that's bringing this show to a close. Um, I wouldn't bring to a close the, the Monday thing. I enjoy that. I'm still having fun with that. And people, uh, because it's on Facebook, really don't get too mean. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, that, that I would keep doing. This, its days may be numbered if this kind of thing continues. Uh, and um, head that bobbles, says Brian Neary. <laughs> Very good for you, Brian. I appreciate it. Let me admit these people here so they can uh, come join our our citizen panel. Here they come. Yes, they're popping in now, even as we speak. There's Charlie Wallace, and there's Alan, and there is, uh, there's, oh, hey, Vernon Nunn. Good to see you, Vernon. And there's Charlie Wallace. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm doing good. Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um <clears throat> You know, I just, I just, uh, uh, last night, that just kind of got to me, you know? And also what they were saying about you too, Alan. I don't think you deserve it. Uh, I don't think you deserve it because they don't call this show. They don't add to it, you know? And, um, uh, so. Well, it's time to cancel the side chat. Well, it's, I have done things like slow it up so you can only write something once every minute. And uh, I have blocked out certain people. That guy last night got blocked out. He can't call the program anymore. He may, only, cha he may, he may change his name or something, but, you know. The only people that write to it that are on the show is Charlie, but then Charlie gives the same report when he gets on well, the show. Well, Char Charlie does, yeah. but so does Brian Neary. I uh, do. Yeah, he just, he just wrote to your... Yeah, uh, no, who, who cares he, about head that, head that bobbles... That's <laughs> <laughs> nah, me. My head's always bobbing around, yeah, you know. Yeah. But uh, I got it. Yeah. Uh Alex, bleep that loser from last night. We think you're awesome. Well that's that, that's nice. It's just I'm, huh? I never see that I never see that I've never seen that guy call or um uh, on the chat before. I don't recognize yeah. that name on the chat. So that's even worse where and Charlie, have you seen that person on chat before? No, uh, not, not before that night. Yeah, that, that's before even more that bizarre that somebody just blasts, you know, like those <clears throat> kamikaze on everybody, and then we've never even seen that person before. Well, you know, uh, I never heard of him before either. Uh, but uh, And I went to look for him on Facebook, and he doesn't exist on Facebook. So. Oh, yeah, that's good. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've done interviews. I, I did interviews with people before. And they would say, oh, I saw you on Facebook. You have cars, huh? Blah, blah, blah. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> really? It's like, yeah. Maybe you're interviewing for like a manager, production manager position, and they start talking about your personal life. You know, I was talking to somebody today. Well, I'll mention who he is because I, I love the guy, Rob. Um, oh. And I was talking to Rob today. And you probably wonder why he hasn't called. And it has nothing to do with the program. It has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, he didn't like what was going on on the program or whatever. But he just felt in today's, um, what can we call it, today's atmosphere, that he didn't want to be on the air, say something that would then get him tr in trouble with his employer, mm. who's a very big company, okay? Mm. Now, he said, you know, I, I, I feel that everything I say is, you know, fine and so on. But it only takes one person to complain <clears throat> to so and so about such and such. Am I right about this, uh, Brian? You, you're in the business world. Yeah, and I, and and <clears throat> I've actually had somebody email me at work saying, "Oh, I, I I and I recognize the name a little bit. He's an engineer, I think, or something." And then, so I listen to you on Alex Bennett show and blah blah. So, you know, it. it I don't know. It, it's sort of back. You know, Rob may be in a different position than mine. 
you know, there's a lot of stuff I know that we're not supposed to talk about, so I don't, you know. But right, maybe Rob, right. Is, maybe Rob, maybe Rob. But stuff no, he, is he, what he was worried about is just because we were always talking politics. Oh, okay. and he just might say something, you know, mm -hmm. that somebody else doesn't like, and then it, it causes one problem or another, you know. Next thing you know, you're out of a job. Yeah. You uh, know, and I that's think... that's happening a lot to people today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I, Brian, I think he saw me and thought, "Why would you be on the show with that asshole?" Yeah, yeah. But the asshole that's head bobbles. That's right. It's yeah. the head that bobbles. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know. Um, uh, but it, 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 it was, uh, it, it, you know, um, it, but, uh, but I, when I heard him say that to me, it made a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't have made a lot of sense three years ago, two years ago. But considering all that's been going on in the last year and people have been asked to call, be called to account for stuff they put on Twitter 10 years ago, yeah. you know, you really have to be careful what you say in social media. And even though you think, hey, I'm just joining a bunch of people who are arguing about politics, I'm saying I can't stand that jerk Trump, blah, 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 that's enough for somebody to be bothered by the fact that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing this stuff. And I stopped to think yeah, about that. I'm sure that. if I still work for the state, I'd been fired by now. You, re you think so? Oh, yeah. What state? I said all kinds of terrible things about Abbott and mm. about, about Trump. Yeah, right. They would have canned me. Mm. And not even look back. Yeah. So Charlie, you don't think you don't think your employer knows that you know about baseball, right? That's what you're afraid of. <laughs> uh, well, my uh, employer knew. My boss at work knew that I was a Democrat and that I hated Republicans, but he was a Democrat, so it didn't matter. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. But but you know it it all all has to be is like one thing you say, that yeah. in the heat of an argument. That all of a sudden they go, oh, well, we can't have our company be associated with those kind of comments. Yeah. And his company is a fairly liberal company, mind you. I won't say who it is. Most of us don't work, except Brian. Yeah, but, uh, but uh, it's a fairly liberal yeah. company. Uh, it comes out. Well, he's of, also the boss, so. Yeah, but, uh, you know, nevertheless, these, these companies are very kind of persnickety about their image yeah. what i love i love larkin's yeah. shirt i love larkin's shirt that's awesome tenderloin <laughs> yeah rep represent represent tenderloin now is that a shirt they made about the tenderloin or is it just hmm. a shirt no, that it's says just some local company they kind of they print it up with the, you know the uh the Nike, the Nike thing, make it look like a Nike mm. shirt, you know. Oh, awesome. I see. Okay, well. It's just a, lo a local company. They make their own T-shirts here. I had to and order a whole bunch out. of new shirts like this, my 1939 T-shirts. Yeah, I got one. And the reason, I, the reason I had to was because our cleaning woman threw it in with bleach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and there's no way I'm ever going to get the color back in there, so I had mm -hmm. to order some more of these. Yeah, Dave Chappelle said the tender line. He said, "There's nothing tender about that area." <laughs> <laughs> so well, yes, I have you, something you, to say about yes, that. yes, Jeff. I think this is an inappropriate time for you to make a change. The reason is I finally figured out how to get this thing come on without a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Right. So give me a break. At okay. least a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess I, you know, I mean, I just it it just really got to me last night. You know the side texts, they're always picking on me and I don't give a shit. I don't know them. Right. I don't care about them. They can say whatever they want. I've never really you know, I got pretty thick skin. My hat's broken. Well, right? now somebody is using the word bobble. I guess I'm going to have to put that in tonight. <laughs> Can't screw my hat out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it sucks because I, I, like, I really liked Rob on the show, especially before before I called in. You know, I used to like Oh, Rob, I love her. I think the world. Put his cigars downstairs, his new house, and all that stuff. So it, I it think sucks the world that world. he had to feel that way. No, but but I, 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 and he had never, he had never talked to me about why he stopped calling. He just once said to me, oh, all the politics, I don't know if I want to deal with it, you know. Yeah. And, and then he said, you know, that it was a very decent concern. Of it. And it was. I mean, when you yeah. think about people today, how about that girl over at Vogue, at, at Teen yeah, Vogue? 
What happened? Like say the it, it wasn't even something she said what, now. What, it's something she said like 15 years what'd ago. What did you say, Vernon? What did you say, Vernon? Alexi <laughs> McCammon. Yeah. Uh, she wrote something when she was a teenager, I think. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Uh, in, a, in a tweet or somewhere about something, and uh, they didn't like it at Teen Vogue. Imagine not liking anything at Teen Vogue. God, you know, uh, and they fired her. But it was something she said 15 oh years earlier. She said, I was a kid at the time. I wrote anything. You know, I was devil may care. I didn't know I, I was writing care. something that might be misconstrued years later. They fired I, her nonetheless. I don't know. Facebook sent me a, a thing from one of my first posts in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, this doesn't meet our, uh, our, our, you know, our uh, rules and regulations. If you'd like to fight this, let us know. If not, we'll just accept that you accept it. And I'm like, 2016, boy, that's like five years ago. I mean, they're really on top of things at Facebook. Well, you know, I mean, Facebook, I mean, what is it? Uh, 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 you, you might be doing something that isn't doesn't fit their standards. What the fuck are their standards, for crying out loud? It was picture of Trump with a ball gag in his mouth. They Ooh. called that sexual. Well... Oh really? Maybe yeah, I, because I, I, maybe because they get a hard on when they put a ball gag in their mouth. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think maybe next time it should be a roll of toilet paper or something. Well, I, you know, I'm, my problem is is that I I'm at the behest of Facebook. Uh -huh. You know, when I do some of my stuff, like the live stuff I do during the day from the park and so on, and uh, I'm at the behest of uh, uh, who do you call? It? Um, of uh, of, of YouTube, uh, YouTube. Uh, who's always you know you, oh we're, we you can't make money off commercials on this show because there are dirty words in there or something, and then I go I protest and they go back and check and say oh, okay it's all right, but meanwhile I have to go through the hoops to get things changed around you know, Crazy. I mean, but these but are like the people fun. who hold the keys to the kingdom. And, you know, I got to abide by the rules or I don't get the keys to the kingdom. So walking around the park, they have a problem with that? No, 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 no. No, that isn't what I was saying. No. What I was saying was I, I have to be careful in all these mediums that I don't do things that, that upset them. You know? Uh, I mean, they, they're always writing me stuff. Like if I, I have music I buy. Okay, I buy music for this show. Those those things you hear on the promos, the music and backup, my pay for that. Okay, I buy it in bulk, you know, and it's cheap ass. <laughs> it's cheap. It's Costco music. Costco music. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's really crappy, you know, music. But it, uh, you know, I have to get the best of what I can, and and some of the like the background here, I pay another hundred and fifty dollars a year. To use things like that background and graphics that we use. All right? No. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Holy sh... Oh, yeah. Um, but it's all... It's all... It's uh, uh, In other words, I don't have to pay anything else for them. I don't have to pay any royalties on the music or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but... So I don't have to pay music on the royalties. All right? Uh, on the, the music. music on the music. Uh, because I pay... a just a flat fee, and I can. It's all you can eat. I I could use hundreds and hundreds of pieces of their music a year, and it wouldn't cost me any more than 150 bucks. All right, and some of it's very good. So, but I have one thing. If I play it here, it's the blow me commercial that I have here. If I play it, all of a sudden tonight, I can guarantee you that it will come up that I violated a copyright. And I haven't. I paid for that. Hmm. And somehow it, some company goes, oh, well, we own that. Yeah, you own it, but you also sold it to this other company to sell to me. And now, and now if that were just easy, fine. If I just said, wrong, you know, or didn't even have to write back. <clears throat> but no, I've got to write them, and I've got to tell them why I protest, and then I've got to write the, the company I buy it from and say, will you go protest this for me? Because they guarantee that it will get on. Usually the company that I buy it from within two or three days gets it removed. But 
in the meantime, I, I'm having to deal with it. I don't want to have to deal with it. So, you know, fuck them all. You know? well, who, who do they think they are? The tennis channel? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another problem. Yeah, no, I don't know if any of you have ever forget Roku. I mean, but here's a good uh, here's something I'd like to tell you about Roku, so you know. And that is, uh, be careful if you go to something you want to see. You go go like you can subscribe to something, but you want to find out how much it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. Well, on Roku, they don't tell you how much it's going to cost till you click the button and it starts yeah. charging you. Mm. Now, there's something inherently wrong about that. And they're not even owned yeah. by Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, everybody else that I do business with, for the most part, goes, okay, click here if you want to subscribe, and you click. And then they go, are you sure you want to subscribe? And you go, yes. But okay. here, no. They you know, you like 15 days, hmm? you can cancel it? In no, days? in this case, no. Tennis Channel, boom, immediately, a whole year. A whole year? I can't even buy a month. Okay, wow. so it was 109 bucks. It got charged to me because girlfriend accidentally flipped the button. And they give you a year to cancel it. I think she was hoping huh? you. No, no, they give you a year to cancel it. You can you can cancel <laughs> yeah. it. You can cancel it immediately. But what you're canceling is the renewal next yeah. year. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, they don't mention automatically renews at the end of the year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> That's, that's like the way the business is, is oriented. Today. What? Well, I mean, <clears throat> that's the way we're oriented. The mm -hmm. open. <laughs> What'd you say, uh, uh, Jeff? Um, the reason that I noticed is I have a, a software program, and I paid for it mm -hmm. for a certain amount, mm -hmm. and I figured I'd I'd buy it on a temporary basis to see if I like it. Mm -hmm. So I use it for a while. And I'm not that 100% happy with it. So anyway, I forget it. All of a sudden, I get a 20% discount. But they won't tell you how much the cost is. <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. Well, you know, I mean, it bothers me <clears throat> that when I call Roku, for instance, to try and get them to do something about this, which they eventually did, to their credit... But I had to yell and scream. They claimed they couldn't do anything. And then I said, look, when I just called you and you wanted to find out about my account, let me turn on the air conditioning here for a second. It's mm. getting a little warm in here. Hmm? Anyway, uh, 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 but what happened was um, uh, I, I said, I, I, you know, I, saw, I, I, uh, I just called you. And in order to make sure who I was, you asked me about five questions to identify myself so you could do something with my account. And now you're saying that you can't do anything about turning this around in spite of the fact that you didn't ask me the same five questions when I tried to when I was looking to subscribe to this thing. Yeah. And and that's the point, you know, I mean, the government does a lot about these internet companies and so on. But when it comes to something like this, they don't even think about it. There should be rules and regulations. Because any, let's say I had kids in this house. Any kid could walk up to yeah. the TV, set up to my Roku, click the button, and cost me thousands of dollars. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. You know. And then if I've got to get out of it, I have to go call these people and say, my kid did it? Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, we can't take back a, a subscription. And you go, what? You know, especially when it was done, you know. So, I mean, things like this, these are the little things in the world now that we've got problems with. And everything has become a problem and a bigger problem. First of all, uh, John Larkin and then Al. Len. You know, there's, there's these apps, you know, uh, to buy tickets for events, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, it's called Game Time or something like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. I... Um, I went to an Elton John concert here in, in San Francisco, and I was buying it. You know, I, I was looking at the thing, and, you know, I was looking at the different tickets that were available, and the, these one, two tickets for like, right on the floor in the middle, right on really good seats, you know? So I bought them, and it, they were like 400 bucks for two tickets, 200 bucks each. So we go in there, and the tickets are not on the floor. They're fucking 
on the side of the stage behind the stage. I mean, you could barely see the fucking show, you know? So, mm. I mean, I had already been charged for them, and I'm in the concert. So the next day I called up, uh, you know, my credit card company and said, don't, don't, I'm not paying for these, these tickets. They ripped me off because they weren't where they were supposed to, supposed to be. So the, the credit card company calls the ticket broker company mm -hmm. and they go, sorry, man, we, we bought, you know, I go, well, you, you tricked me into buying these seats because they weren't where they were supposed to be. They're like, ah, too bad, you know? So they go, we'll give you a 25 off, 25% off on your next, next tickets. I was like, fuck you. But I got burned. You know? Yeah, but I mean, I guess they just didn't say what floor it was going to be on. You know. <laughs> well, I mean, no, yeah. they, 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 were the, the seats map. on a floor? <laughs> yes, they were on a floor. Okay. No, you got I mean, floor they, seats. They had a map, you know, on the app. And the t it showed you where the tickets were. And they were right in front of the stage. You know, but they weren't. They were way behind the fucking stage. How does that happen? Wow. Damn, somebody yeah. scammed me. Yes, uh, Tony. Oh no! I was just kind of trying to figure Tony's out. Tony's not to first. Out. Alan's first. Oh, oh Alan, yeah. Alan, Alan. So, yes, uh, you know, I got that same twenty percent coupon, Jeff. I think it's the Playboy Channel. Yeah, it's the big bullshit. No, no, no. They get that. You know, <laughs> Playboy Channel is okay. Twenty percent off is okay with me too. Really? I want thirty-five percent. I used to subscribe to the Playboy Channel and. You know, it started at seven or eight dollars a month, and it just skyrocketed. I mean, I don't know. You can get porn off the internet so easily. For free. You know, yeah. for free. Who pays for, free. for porn? Who <laughs> pays for porn? That's right. Well, that's I stopped it. You know, somebody that's like, must be. <laughs> that's like saying that's like saying I'm going to pay for air. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I mean, what who pays do? who pays for porn anymore? Yeah. No. I pay for air. Uh, oh, I, you, <laughs> what is that? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, I got my air too. My yeah, those, 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 I pay for air. Don't yeah. make fun of that. Well, I got some air the other day. I have oxygen. Ah, no, they yeah. have these bottles of oxygen, yeah. and you can buy them, and you just you know, but it does nothing. It does mm. nothing. You know, I figured it, it would pep me up or whatever. Hello, Kevin. How you doing? How you doing? All right. How you doing? Welcome on the last show, Kevin. We're going down. <laughs> yeah. Taking everybody with us. What happened? <laughs> Somebody insulted Alex yesterday in the side chat, and so he's pissed. Ah, oh, fuck the side you chat. What's happening in the side chat? Are they all nice tonight? Okay. Yeah, they're saying that you're quitting. Huh? What? <laughs> They're all saying that you're quitting. Nobody really? wants you to quit, Alex. I, 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 yeah, well, they, they uh, yeah, right, yeah, well. <laughs> they say that until they write something, and then they, they're they trying to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was just very... I think if you should charge everybody a certain amount of money to be on the show. Yeah, I can do that by not telling them they're subscribing. <laughs> Whatever. That's right. <laughs> Everybody, check your credit card. That's on. By the, the show. way, by the way, folks, if you if you uh, uh, hit the subscribe button on this page that you're watching this show on right now, it doesn't cost you a penny. It's free. So might I suggest that you click on the subscribe button? <laughs> but you gotta listen to a bunch of liberals all the time. No, it's just you know I. I Everybody on the, uh, that I go to on YouTube goes, would you please press the subscribe button? So I figured I'd do the same thing. What the hell? I, I don't know what the subscribe button does. <laughs> you, know, you know. I love Terry Malone in the side check. I, I don't think Alex is losing the teenage girl market. Alex <clears throat> is great when he's by himself, like in the park. Oh, boy. Well, oh, you are. I love watching you wandering. So do life. I. It reminds me of what exercise was about. <laughs> <laughs> well, he says he's walking down the hill like he did today. Oh, I'm going to walk down this way, down the hill. I'm like, oh, no, don't fall. Not me. <laughs> now, do, yeah. so you stop it, Brian. <clears throat> Alan, you really motivated me to, to exercise more. 
Would you believe that? Alan did. And, and why did Alan? Alan. Not Alan. I mean Alex. Oh, oh Alex. I'm trying to figure that out. Anyway, for the walker. <laughs> well, so I started riding on my bike, and hmm. I'm doing like five miles a day. It's pretty good. No, yeah, well, I did. Uh, I did. Five, I did. Uh, what, how many miles did I do today? I walked about almost almost a mile and three quarters. I think today. Yeah, so, it's great. You know, and it was up hills and down hills and things like that. I try to go upstairs in various places and so on. At least Terry Malone is an equal opportunity. Picks on Alex, picks on Alan, picks on Brian. If Brian Neary isn't worried That's as right. an important and successful businessman who freely expresses his opinions, I think the worry about getting in trouble online is overblown. No, it's not. It depends no, who you work not. for. It, yeah, and, and it happens right. all the time to people. Absolutely. You know. And I think Rob, I think Rob's more vocal on politics than I am. I'm not too vocal on politics, you know, as Rob was. So I think yeah, yeah. I think, and I think Rob, Rob, I think felt if he was going to participate, he had to participate. But if he participated, yeah. it might come back to bite him in the ass. And I appreciate that. Are you talking about Rob from New Jersey? No. Yeah. I, no. Rob Alfano. Rob Alfano. Rob Alfano. Yeah. He does some of the promos for you, though. Yeah. Does he still do those for he, you? Alan? Yeah, he's. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to write a whole bunch for him that he's going to he's going to voice. Yeah. yeah. Final show last month of Alex promos. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm about 45 miles south of him here in Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Up, up in the mountains. I like yeah, Rob. Man. Rob's a great guy. Rob's yeah, a terrific guy. Yeah. Always been very supportive, and you know he's got a little radio thing called Retro Rock. Which oh, yeah. you might go to and listen to it. It's it's really quite good. He just programs rock music all day. Sounds good to me. Uh, uh, and it's well done. It's really well done. And we were just talking today about how you get viewers and people to watch you and so on. And uh, we can't figure it out. <laughs> it's like a, a mystery to us, you know. Mm. So if anybody. Oh, the old Huh? The old way, you never knew anything, right? We may never knew anything. When when you were uh, in a official radio show. Well, no, with with radio shows, with radio stations, uh, radio I stations. knew what was happening uh, because we got ratings. <laughs> but when we went to Sirius XM, they still don't know how many people listen to them. They do know with the people who listen online, but that's not their main audience. Their main audience is the satellite, and there's no way of telling how many people on the satellite are listening to a particular program. Wow. I can tell here, I can tell you right now to the person how many people are watching this right now. <laughs> 45, okay? 46, it just changed. Oh, really? No, it's 45. <laughs> it went down, I think, from where you oh. are. Well, um, that's more that's more than people were reading Trump's uh, blog. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's I think it's horrible by the way that they put on here 45 <laughs> watching now. Well, I don't want people to know that. Mm. Yeah. I want to know that. Supply me that information, but don't supply <laughs> the public that information. They'll think I'm a loser, which I am. You know. Well, if you cut out the side chat they won't be picking on me, which I don't care about. They won't be picking on you, which you do care about. And we won't have to read all this crap. Uh, well, you know, there are some people there who enjoy it. You enjoy it, right, Charlie? You enjoy doing yeah. it. And Brian Neary does it. He <coughs> enjoys it. I know that Scott Boddicker, when he has time, likes to use it. You know, I so... Know. He just doesn't like your show. That's what he says on, on Jack Bishop. Oh, no, he didn't say that. <laughs> Who said that? Nobody. I'm joking. You guys know me too that, well. No, I listened to it again last week, I think on a Friday or something. That's like a whole production. Gee, that guy's busy. It's, you know, it's a different format to me. I mean, Alex mm -hmm. kind of lets things just roll. We talk about everything. Jack kind of likes to have things go his way a certain way bring up more subjects you know so i don't know well I think, this is just a I, think they're, I think they're both good this you is know, a conversation these are these this is a conversation among a bunch of friends like we're sitting around a living room talking to each other yes. you Absolutely. know and if and something if something political comes up we talk about it and if something Absolutely. doesn't you know like we were talking earlier about uh 
uh, what were we talking about earlier? See, I'm losing it. See, yeah. that's what it's all about. I've I've lost it completely. You know, I've been, I take this pill and it makes me kind of like I go to do simple tasks that I normally do here at the computer, and I have to say, where do Are you I go about now? For gabbling? What? For gabbling? Yeah. Oh man, it makes me wonky. Like last mm. night, I didn't take it, so the day afterwards, I'm even worse. Wow. Yeah. Maybe you ought to spit, switch to like cocaine or something. I think I'm going back to cocaine. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait till they do another COVID test on you. Them's, them's, <laughs> yeah, right. They, they, they tried to do a COVID <laughs> test on me, and because I'm doing cocaine, they can't get the thing in my nostril. Yeah, my, friend, <laughs> yeah. my, friend, my, my BFF that I used to party with. Right when they started doing the testing, he's texting me he said, "What are they gonna find up our noses?" <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's a gold mine up there. Hey, look what I found. Wanna, <laughs> wanna lick? I found the extra votes for Trump up your nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how you doing tonight, uh, Tony? Hey, I I was actually a little tired the last couple over the weekend, but the bad weather knocked me out. Really? really? Yeah, I'm tired all the time. But you know why? Because I'm old. You know what I was gonna. But you know what I think it was too, Alex. Maybe it's in my head a little bit because I had COVID. I was starting to wonder, like, since I've had it, I wonder. I mean, I don't want to read up on it, but I've been noticing that I've I've been a little more tired or like at night. What do they call people who have after effects of having COVID? Long, long, long term. haulers. Long haulers. Long haulers. Long haulers. Yeah. Yeah, you're a long hauler. I mean, I don't, maybe, sometimes I think, is it in my mind? But like, then again, it was nasty weather. So me and my brother went shopping over the weekend. And that Saturday, we were up in Yonkers shopping. It was so rainy. Where were you shopping cold. in Yonkers? I went to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Stu Leonard's. Stu Leonard's? You know something? You don't have to go to Stu Leonard's anymore. But to begin with, oh. I don't know why you go to Yonkers when there's a Oh, you a know Stu what? It's Leonard's. a big one, though. I, I like that one. No, but there's I one like out in Queens. Big. I'm not crazy about that one. Really? The Yonkers was bigger. I, and I and now, now I we're ordering from Instacart from Stu Leonard's. Oh, we, and we don't know where they're picking up that food because they got here within an hour, and the closest place is like a two-hour round-trip drive to, wow. to get there. You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm just... I, I, I think ever since, like you were saying with Robbie, I find it amazing how people are really are afraid to talk about anything. Well, they're they're afraid of 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 creating a uh, uh, what what am I looking for a, a trail that people can go down to find out things about them and what they did and oh we heard you on that show and you you were talking about that really well we we can't have that because that's sexist and uh, we're gonna fire you. Well, you know it's not it, it's not easy it's finding true, guess, yeah. what people say on this show unless they subscribe to the show. I guess if they get on somebody's Facebook and check every little nook and cranny, mm -hmm. they might see that Brian yeah. is on the show or something. But, you know, other than that, you can turn that stuff off in Facebook and settings so people can't <clears throat> be following around like that. Yeah. You know, but maybe it's in my my imagination. Like, we went, my niece graduated high school, so my sister had, like, a dinner at, like, a, an Italian place, pizzeria, like. Mm -hmm. And so we went we out for Dago. <laughs> yes, three Dago food, Alex. It was actually good. <laughs> so, so you know what it is too. I noticed too, and maybe it's. And I'm not into politics, but I remember when you had said something where you don't like to talk politics. I think in front of people, and Alex, there was somebody there, and you, Trump brought out. I'm not really friends with some of these people. I just kind of <coughs> noticed who she invited. So somebody, one of the kids' father, you could see he was a Trumper. Because he's like, I really don't want to get the vaccine. I heard him talking like at the other table. And I leaned over to my brother and his girlfriend and says, this guy's a Trumper. You can, and it, it I just so want to I think, politics. I think we should encourage the Trump people not to get vaccinated. I mean, I, I don't, you know, it's almost, I, I agree with you because it's like, oh, you know, I, I could just see the way he's talking. I'm like, oh, this guy sounds like an asshole, really. You know, now here's a question. My brother's like, don't say nothing. I said, I'm not saying anything. I said, but it's like. By the way, was the guy? Was, was, by the way, by the way, was the guy overweight? Uh, slightly. He oh. put it this way. He used to die. I don't know him personally, but you could see he's like about sixty, and he's still dying his hair. I mean, really? Well, I was too. Really? Yeah. 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 All right. Me too. 
Yeah, I'll no, change it. But you know what I, I like noticed? It was Marjorie. Marjorie's dye looks natural. And I my, dye my hair. See that? I dyed really? gray. Really? Yeah. I, I don't need anything personal. <laughs> you know what I think it is, Alex? I think since my mother passed away from COVID, I have a bad spot with any of these people who are like really pro Trump. Really? Yeah. I mean, so I didn't say that I was a good boy. I said, I'm not going to say my boss is. Don't I mean it? Even older guy president. Who is it? Who is it? That his lawyers, former lawyers, now saying that uh, in August they're gonna they're going to uh, yeah. inaugurate him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. really? Yeah. Gonna be re inaugurated. What was the thing you put up, Vernon, uh, on, on the on the chat? Is something about um, uh, uh, what do you call it? about uh, the electoral college or something? The national popular vote. Interstate Compact. Oh, yeah, I see. national popular vote. Yeah, there are there are 15 states that have already passed it. There's 195 electoral votes that are already in play, but it doesn't actually go into effect until 270 electoral votes come into play. And right now, since COVID started, there's 133 votes in play in states like Texas, Arizona, Georgia, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So you only need 75 more, and you've got your 270. And out of that 75, there's 133 pending in legislatures now. So, so when that happens, what that will mean is, is that the states will just say they're going to vote their electoral votes for whoever right. wins the national vote. The, popular yeah. vote. Yeah. the Constitution specifically says that the states decide how they will select their electors. The states have almost unanimously said winner take all like if trump yep. gets the most vote in my state then mm -hmm. trump gets all of my electoral votes this interstate compact says all these states that have uh, written the laws say when it goes into effect now mm -hmm. until it until you have 270 electoral votes it's business as usual but once there are 270 electoral votes that come into play mm -hmm. now the state will appoint electors based on the national popular vote that sounds good to me. Yeah, but then he's going to... Mm. Sounds fair. Yeah. Well, it's I mean... It's called democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, 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 but what are we going to do? You know, we got to do something about... Marjorie always yells and screams about it, and she's right. Uh, North and South Dakota. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're going to say. Speak, speaking like, of, speaking they of North They both and have, South they Dakota. both have, the, together they've got... Go They've got four senators. If you go through the Midwest, okay, mm -hmm. you've got 15 states that control 30 senators, and they don't have as many, uh, much population as California. And then you throw in the filibuster, you got 30% of the uh, population controls the whole fucking government. Yep. It's all about minority rules in this country. It's fucked up. It Why is. can't get anything passed with the, with the filibuster? You won't get one thing fucking passed. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's uh, unlikely. Uh, you got uh, Kirsten Cinema. I think Kirsten Cinema is going to go over to the Republicans. You know, if if they force the uh, try to force the filibuster vote or something, she's going to just say fuck it. I'm going to become a Republican. Really? You know? Kind of like Trump did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, the only thing is, Kirsten Cinema is the pro-choice. She's always been pro-choice, and the Republicans won't accept her unless she changes that. That's true. Yeah. Well, you know, Trump is, was always his whole, his whole adult wait, life. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what does be, yeah. being a, de a Republican have to do with being non-pro-choice by being, you know? There's not one Republican in Congress who is pro-choice. But why? What does it have to do with the They're all conservative pro politics? Pro -life. Huh? They all it have didn't to used to be that to way. Get rid of the baby. That's it didn't why used they want to be that way, but it is now. Yeah, yeah that's why they want to overturn Roe v. Wade. Yeah, but what I, what my question is, okay, I understand the politics of being conservative. I understand the politics of being a Republican. Where is it written that you have to be pro, uh, you have to be pro, for against abortion, anti-abortion? It's not written. The They've decided that they get the ev evangelical group yep. on their side that way. Yeah. yeah. 
Here's the Again, Republican platform. you know, why does it... It's do, not written. Wait a minute. It's the money. Wait a minute. The Democrats probably would love to get the evangelical vote, but they're not about ready to give up on, on uh, 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 you know... Women. No, they won't. Yeah. So, I mean, what what is that all about? I, I mean, I just... The money. The money. Yeah, I just don't understand yeah. where politics is today. There was a time when at least... Mm-hmm. You had some give and take, you know. Coming to a big vote, they go, well, how many Republicans are going to vote for this? Now we know how many are going to vote for All it. of them. Yeah. One. They're all going to be locked Zero. Zero. Exactly. You know. Um, I just, you know, and then, they, they, then they, they're then they also for states' rights, except when states' rights Uh-oh. is important, <laughs> you know. What, what, what? Oh, there's Adrian. Hello, Somebody's Adrian. Hey, hi, Adrian. Somebody's speaking. Hi, Adrian. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what was that all about? Oh, there she is again. Adrian, hi. Hey, can I make sure that's you? Come here, say hi. Come on, make her a star. Okay, and then she's going to pretend hi. like she's hi. shy. Don't be hi, shy. On TV. Hi. hi, how are you? What have you been doing lately? You know what she's thinking? She's Blaine. thinking, God, these people are really old on this show. <laughs> are we all I'm older? Old? Than, I'm older than all of you because I'm taller than all of you. Yes, There's you are people. taller than us. Yeah, so I'm older than everybody I'm taller than. Oh, there she goes with, her, with that whole tongue thing, you know. Be nice, say hi, or I'm not going to make you shave dice. Adrian, oh, yeah. show us where Daddy hit his head on the, on the building. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So is he going to make you shave dice? Uh huh. Do you really you make you make shave dice? You make uh, Italian ices, essentially. What do you? What's your favorite flavor? That was Hawaiian. Mm. What's your favorite flavor? Mm, Purple. 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 Uh, Of course, that's an official. That's an official flavor of kids. That's better than what I, I yeah. thought she said pickle. Well, you see, it makes sense. It makes sense that the flavor is purple because when it's orange, the flavor is orange, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So. Hey, Digging at Gracie. That's not silly. Hi. Yeah. So, Good night. So, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. What'd she say? Goodbye, sucker. Did she say that? Really? No. We gotta put her on the chat. She says it all the time now. Hey, sucker. Do you have any things you teach her to do so that it's kind of funny when adults are around and she does it? Because my father, what my father did with me is he taught me, he taught me dirty jokes to then tell company. And I, do you want to hear the one joke he taught me that I still remember to this day? And it wasn't really for his time. It was a very dirty joke. But there is this, uh, there's this princess, and she's walking through the forest, and all of a sudden she comes upon a frog. And the frog says, hi there. And the, she looks down, and she goes, you can talk? He says, yes, I can talk. He says, you want to know why? She says, why? He says, because I'm really a handsome prince, but a witch has turned me into a frog. And she says, well, gee, that's, that's amazing. He said, uh, you know what you do? If you take me home tonight, put me under your pillow. When you wake up in the morning, I'll be a handsome prince. And the next, she, so she took the the uh, the frog home. Sure enough, she puts him under the pillow. She goes to sleep. When she wakes up the next morning, he wasn't lying. Lying next to her in bed is this handsome prince. And you know, to this day, her parents don't buy that story. <laughs> Now, my my father taught me that joke so that I could tell it to company of adults who oh, thought it was funny. hilarious that this joke was coming out of a kid. Yes, Tony. My dad used to, my, my dad liked the old comics too. My mom and him were polar opposites, so he used to always sing like dirty songs to me. I actually have a little one I remember when I was a kid. A, a dirty like, song? You? It's not really dirty. Like he would say like a bad word. To me as a kid, I would get excited if he said something like I shouldn't say. It was like... She burped and she farted and she shit on the floor and the wind from her ass knocked the knob off the door. I used to dance around. Wait a minute, that was just mildly dirty? 
Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, I was like five or six, but I always remember you used to like, oh, daddy said a big Boy, what you consider to be what filthy has got to be really kinky. Mm. Well, I mean, you know, like, well, how I always used to get mad if he said anything like shit or anything from because I used to get excited. I used to saw that. You know, in, in the Italian people, they're like, like Tony is, that was easy going. I mean, yeah. nasty. I, remember, I was like five or six, but I remember that he used, well, he used to say other things, but not in front of me. Though she used to get mad at me. Don't say any bad words. No, my mother was that way too. Yeah. yeah. I don't think my parents ever told me not to say d bad words, but uh, they it well, didn't encourage me to use them either. Of course, when I was a kid, you know, even adults didn't use those words a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, it was considered impolite around yeah. other people to use that kind of language. And now, hell, I'm walking down the street and people are going, fuck, man, fuck this. What? Yeah, fuck, my mother fuck, would never fuck, let me fuck, talk fuck. Like and, I'm, and I'm saying to myself, you know, there's got to be some little old lady, like in her late 80s, who might hear this and be upset by it because this just wasn't something that was said when she was growing up. Mm -hmm. Well, my mother would always say, if, you ever, if I ever hear you talk like that, she's because that's a reflection on her. She said, "You, I, I don't, you don't talk like that." Like, but they I, taught you that song. Oh well, my father, I remember he used to. I used to tell her. I used to love the. You know, he said anything bad, I used to start laughing. Oh, he's saying a bad word. <laughs> yeah, my mother was. You know, I used to get excited over that. Yeah. yeah. I actually know what I was I was missing them the other day a little bit. I went to the cemetery, I was missing them a little bit, both of them. You say that your mother's buried in the same cemetery as uh, Robert Maplethorpe. Oh Mabel yeah, Robert Maplethorpe. I just I just realized that I heard people talking. She's uh he's buried in the mother's plot in the father's. I think he was cremated and then they put his ashes in everything. But I heard them talking, people were looking for it. I says well, I, said, I said, I think they said Robert Maplethorpe. He's buried in St. and John Gotti, he's buried too there. Really? St. Wow. John Cemetery, yeah. Maple Thorpe's there with his mom and dad. I didn't go past it, but I know that he's there. Because mm -hmm. he lived in Queens. I know that. Yeah. 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 Wow. She's a quite a, my mom's here with some famous people. Not yeah. She, yeah. yeah. Not I, she, I, mean. I would imagine. I don't think they talk much to each other. No. She no. wouldn't get along with Maple Thorpe, I don't think, Alex. This woman never said a bad word in her life. <laughs> he's such a nice boy. My oh, yeah. grandmother was like Ruth Gordon. Every word out of her mouth at 80 years old. Son of a bitch, move the fuck out of you know, I mean, just <laughs> on and on. She was he funny. He on my little hip, I said that. She was funny. Wow. wow. You know, hmm. Are you done in the bathroom? Get the hell off. You shit enough. You know that? Uh, <laughs> my, gran my grandmother. Uh, so anyway, uh, 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 Vernon, uh, in your part of the woods, Kentucky, home of two of our favorite senators, yeah. Uh, you ought to be ashamed of you. You should be more ashamed of yourself than the guy who's next to you, which is, is Charlie. Because Charlie's yeah. from Texas, and they're doing horrible things there. But oh, you've yeah. got a couple of, you got Ru, Ru, RuPaul. Yeah, down there. And you, <laughs> That's like mass confusion. But, uh, you, you, you know, you, Kentucky's got to be a weird place for a guy like you to live. Yeah, well, yeah. the whole the whole state basically is, um, is is red, but there are two enclaves of mostly Democrats, and that's in the county where I live, and mm -hmm. in the county that includes Lexington. It's mostly Democrats. You should the secede. Whole rest of the you state should is red. You should secede from the rest of the state. Oh, most yeah. of California is red, except for in the big cities: San Diego, Los Angeles, Sacramento. San Francisco Bay Area. The rest of the state's red. Uh, uh, this area like, where I am now, Alex, I, yeah. I'm in the central like part that. of, I'm yeah. in the central part of Virginia, mm -hmm. and I, I, I lost count of how many Trump signs I saw as I drove in. And that oh must really? Be I thought you yeah. were in Kentucky. Well, no, I'm, I'm on a two-week vacation in the mountains of Virginia right now. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. All right. And and I've got wifi good Wi-Fi. I've got good Wi-Fi this time. Now the, I've called in before. Yeah, a few years ago, and the Wi-Fi really was bad. But what happened? What, what do they do to the Wi-Fi? They they put a new system in oh, in really? the condos. Oh, really? Good. Yeah, you're coming Good through perfect. Shift. There's no you weren't you haven't been seizing up on us or anything. Yeah, it's five uh, G. So, is there anything? Uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, Kevin's kind of been quiet. <clears throat> Kevin, anything on your mind then? How's your car running, Kevin? Good, I got it fixed. I found a short in it. Ah. 
your car had a short in it? Took it out, yeah. Yeah? Mm. And now it's working fine. Yeah. God, I miss the days when I used to be able to take a car apart and put it back together again. Then they Wait a minute, that's somebody like else's that. life. Excuse me, it's not <laughs> mine. Then they came out with Lego. You know, I never got into cars that oh. much. Really? Yeah, no. I mean, and I owned some really nice cars in my time. I had a, a Nissan uh, 300ZX. Wow, that's a uh, I, You know, I had... Uh, 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 I'm trying to remember another another sports car earlier than that, uh, uh, but uh, I, I just I but I had them because I just bought them. That was it. You know, I didn't say I got to have a sports car. You know, and uh, then I got a 300Z. I'm driving down the street, and all these kids are going like this to me. You know, <laughs> and I'm going, it's just a fucking car. But the cocaine's in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, what was the other car I had? I had a. Uh, um, um, oh boy, I had the one with the uh, Wankel engine in it. Um, Mazda. The, a Mazda, Mazda. R RX. Uh, RX. Yeah. yeah. RX seven. Rotary. Rotary. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I had that, a, uh, that was a good Ford, little car. I had a British Cortina. I mean, it's a British Ford car. Mm -hmm. A Cortina. Remember those? Yeah. Sounds like the nasty brother of an accordion. Yeah, Cortina. Cortina. <laughs> I, had an I had an Italian car that was powered by Ford. What was it? What was it? A Pantera. It had a oh. 351 Cleveland behind the yeah. mid-engine. That yep. car used to fly. I had a Carmen Ghia. Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Those are cool. All three cylinders. No, it wasn't. Was it three cylinder? No. no, it was four. It was four. But they, but they could run on three cylinders. They had they had Porsche engines. Like the core, not the Corvette, but the Corvair. Oh, yeah. oh, Corvair. oh, my father bought a Corvair. He, he had to he had to get rid of his. It just was no. That was a crappy car. Oh, it burned oil like crazy. My uncle had. And one then of then they burn. Then they then they blow up in the rear because they had a rear engine at roth nader right yeah yep. that was yeah. safe at any speed yeah that was the pinto it had the gas gas tank right on like the underneath the hatchback yeah the pinto yeah right by the yeah yeah well the pinto the pinto yeah, the fender, the Corvair, yeah. the gas tank. well the yeah. pinto made you explode from the rear yeah it's a joke <laughs> on that one i i love this i love the sign at the chevy dealership in the parts counter uh, you know, a, a wife thanking a husband. Thank you, honey. You bought me a Pinto with Firestone 500 tires on it. They're the ones that were exploding and <laughs> light walls blew up. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. I had a Pinto for 12 years. It was 150,000 miles. It was good. Yep. It was a good Ford car. Pinto. A Pinto. Yeah. A Ford Pinto. Wow. Good. Better than the Chevy a, version, uh, the Vega. Yeah, the Vega. They were the, the they were the next one over for the Chevy. Yeah. 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 Well, you know something. Uh, uh, we we have to sign off now at this point, which is a good time because when it comes to talking about cars, I don't know anything. I just I just looked upon them as transportation. They got me from one place to another, and yep. with kids going like this to me. So I, you know, I'm surprised terrible. you didn't ride a motorcycle, Alex. Uh, that's that's something you would never find me doing because I have extreme cowardice. Okay, <laughs> you know, and plus I'm so clumsy I kill myself. All right. Anyway, hey Alan, thank you for being here tonight. Really appreciate it, Bobblehead. Uh, um, uh, uh, Brian, always good to see you, and especially that lovely daughter of yours. God, she she's so adorable. I, uh, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you clone her? I'll take one. Yeah. No, you'll just have, blink, just have to, you'll just have to kidnap one of your own, Alan. <laughs> uh, give you the boy, though. Real Vernon, thank you, thank you, Charlie, thank you, Jeff, as always, uh, and uh, Tony. Uh, so nice to have you here. John Larkin, great to have you here from the Tenderloin. And Kevin, it's always great to see you. And uh, you, you, you're wearing kind of, you're growing kind of beards next. Well, they're beards. Three of you have beards here tonight. Oh, and a mustache. Four of you have beards. Well, anyway, that's it. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye back at you. 
and say goodbye. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, Jack Bishop will be uh, getting a citizen panel together next right here uh, with the intersection on GabNet. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, please get vaccinated if you haven't been already. And if you haven't been vaccinated, wear a mask. But if you've been vaccinated, (laughs) go jump in the pool naked. Bye.